Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I made my son's folding desk. Now, as I think I might have said on some of my videos, I'm gradually refurbishing this house uh, room by room. And in the bedrooms upstairs, what we've been doing is reducing them back to the brickwork, insulating the walls with thermally black, thermal insulated plasterboard, Kingspan K17, I think it's called K118 now. Um, this room in particular was very badly beset by mould that used to form on the walls in the winter because of sort of condensation. And what the thermal insulation has done has it's basically eliminated the mould on the walls. It's been absolutely fantastic. So when we've finished the room, we were left with a really lovely room that we're really pleased with. And the slight problem with it is he's a big lad and the room is actually reasonably small. We wanted to make for him some sort of a desk work area. So I thought, let's try and find a folding desk. I looked online and I couldn't find anything that kind of fitted what my expectations of what the sort of desk I wanted to install in his room. So then I thought, well, that being the case, let's make a desk instead. The main thing about this desk, as with so many things I do, all of this timber, which is 25 mil MDF, was left over from some um, shelves that I was fitting in our playroom downstairs. And so literally all the timber and pretty much all the hardware, apart from this little knob here, were materials that I had lying around at home. And so it hardly cost me anything to make. So having a quick look around, we've got two shelves up above the desk and one shelf below the desk. The desk itself, is the clever bit because this folds out and then slides back into some fixed runners that are attached to the side of the side walls of the desk to give you a really strong desk and the great thing about it is you can either have it all the way back like this against the wall or the fixed runners are strong enough that you can actually extend it out to give you more space to work and then you can put things behind if you decide to do that, like this lamp. As often happens with kids, uh, there's quite a lot of felt tip and marker pen paint residue on here. If you're painting woodwork, my firm advice to you is, even with the best, toughest eggshell paint, when you've put your final top coat on, you want to put a couple of coats of varnish or lacquer on top of that. This would have made this much easier to clean, but all it needs is a couple of coats of paint and that will be resolved. So there you go, my folding desk, which is kept up with two magnets in the corners, rather like you would have seen if you looked at my last video on what hinges to use on wardrobe doors. So as you can see here, the basic structure of the desk was pretty straightforward. A series of pieces of 25 millimeter MDF simply glued and screwed together, no sophisticated joints, the sort of thing any of us DIYers could put together. A few shots here of me screwing the basic structure together. Apologies for the slightly shaky images. I was trying out a Panasonic head cam at the time which I never really got on that well with. Here I'm just checking the dimensions of the piece that I needed to cut for the desk. But the problem comes with the actual folding desk element itself. I managed to find some desks. Here is an image I pulled off Pinterest, I think. But as you see in this image, you've got the piano hinge that runs the length of the desk. Now these are available and an image is coming up now of one that you can get at iMongery Direct. But then you've got to think about the actual supporting hinges at the side of the desk, also known as folding desk stays. Again, I did a bit of research at the time and I did find a couple. There was one from iMongery Direct for about £5.89, including VAT, ranging right up to the one on the right here from Perceptive Fittings, which was over £53 for the pair. So that is why I decided to come up with the idea of the hingeless system. 
It's got two cross pieces sandwiching the desk as it slots in and these cross pieces are rebated into the vertical piece to give them extra strength when the desk is in its lowered position. The support at the top is obviously slightly set back from the front of the desk to allow the desk to be raised to a vertical position when it's being stowed. And at the back of the desk what makes the whole system work, i.e. the desk doesn't fall out at the front when you raise it up, is these pins that I've drilled and glued into the side of the desk and I'll be showing you how I did that in a minute. The pins run down this little channel that are routed in the vertical piece. And the beauty of this system is that when the desk is pulled forwards it can only be pulled this far and then easily raised and stowed. And here I am routing the channel in the vertical piece of the desk. This is the channel that the desk pins run in. And then you see here the two side channels that I also created for the horizontal supporting pieces. Now for the pin going into the side of the desk itself, I drilled a 10 millimeter diameter hole in the edge of the desk as you can see here. The other thing that's quite crucial, you'll see there's a bevel going down the length of the desk which you need obviously to enable the desk to pivot in and out of the space. I put loads of glue into the hole because MDF is notoriously brittle stuff and you see here the pin. This, is, this pin I got from a swing arm towel rail, 1970s swing arm towel rail that we found in the airing cupboard when we were ripping out the bathroom. It just became the most fantastic thing to use for this and you can see the glue squidging out here. I wasn't worried about this because I wanted to get as good a joint as possible and the glue really helps to stop the MDF from splitting. And you can see here two years on there is no sign whatsoever of any splitting on the wood. So the glue has really done its job. So that's it everyone, that's how I created my son's folding desk. It's not perfect, Eagle Eyed amongst you would have noticed that the finishes on the rebating weren't perfect and this actual desk section here unfortunately was slightly warped because when I got it out of the garage where it had been resting there was something underneath it. Um, nothing I could do about that at the time but it's sort of, it's been okay. It stayed the test of time. Because I've removed this desk now, uh, my son wants a sort of more grown up desk. I am going to have to get rid of it. So if any of you out there need a folding desk for your little ones and you live near the Midlands in the UK, uh, drop me a line um, in the comments section below this video and I'd be more than happy to give you it because otherwise it's just going to go into the garage or onto the um, bonfire. So I hope you liked today's video. As usual, if you have, please click on the like button below. And if you're new to my channel, I'd absolutely love to have you subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link here.